So we've prepped all the bits and pieces for rendering and um, this time we'll show a bit more about what's happening with the renders. The first coat has a 10 mil glass fiber mesh embedded into it. We curve the corners. The owners choose a nice smooth finish against a uh, more rougher or rustic Mexican or Belanese style finish. There's many ways you can finish a render. This is a pre-mixed render that's available in many colors. Just add water. Standard all protrusions are taped off. They use what we call a red plastic float that gives us a very smooth finish. Joe and his team know what they're doing. He puts a lot of love in his work. Joe is a very friendly chap and he does a fantastic job. So the second coat has been put up here. Here's our, yeah, that's our first coat through the corner with that mesh embedded in it. And here, the young fella puts his second coat on. The stucker on this wall is actually stunning. It will lighten up after a while. And it's all about the finish, really. This lime coating is water resistant yet breathable, so the hygroscopic function of the hemlock walls is never compromised. Let's have a look inside. This is the laundry we drywalled. Services are introduced into the hemlock wall system. We use an electric chainsaw to create that groove. When we tile, we like to keep a gap between the sheeting that will be waterproofed and tiled. So we batten out that part. And here we are attaching um, the BPs or the back-plated water outlets to the wall, and that will be sheeted and waterproofed. In this case, we had a space on the top of the wall as well as the bottom of the wall. We used XPS, a rigid foam that can be rendered over. Here's some details of the living room. This will be a stunning home. Keep tuned in and we'll be back with the next video.